Hello and welcome again to the video lecture of finding solution of system of linear equations using matrix. I am Sharmila from SNDT Women's University. Here I will show you how to find solution for a homogeneous equation. First, first let us see trivial solution. See, this is the equation given 2x plus y plus 2z equal to 0, x plus y plus 3z equal to 0, 4x plus 3y plus 5z equal to 0. This can be converted as a matrix equation ax equal to b. b I have written as 0 because it is a column matrix of 0. a is coefficient matrix. See, we are writing 2, 1, 4, 1, 1, 3, 2, 3, 5. And x is x, y, z, column matrix of unknown or variable. Now, what we need to check by the theorem is whether the rank of A and rank of A, B or A, O is same. Okay. So, let us adjoin O with A, which is the matrix, augmented matrix. Okay. Let us see how we obtain this one. See, we have to convert this into a clone form by using only row transformation. What we need to do is for getting 1, we can interchange these two. That is what we have done here and we got this matrix. Now we need to convert this as 0. So we have to perform these operation on this matrix. So second from second row, you need to subtract 2 multiply by first row. And from the third row, 4 multiplied by the first row. So, you will get this matrix where you have 0 coming below 1, which is the leading element of 1. Now, again, we need 1 here. So, we can multiply this by minus 1. So, that is what we have done here. Now, we need 0 here. So, you can subtract because uh, sign is same. Subtract second row from third row. So you get this one. So now you see this. You can make out the rank. We, we can divide this row by minus 3 and get 1 here. So the rank of this matrix is P. This is the case where R equal to N. R is the rank of the matrix O, A, O. N is the number of unknown. This is the case of trivial solution in homogeneous equation. Now, I'll tell you how it is. If we take augmented matrix and write it as an equation again. So, take the third row. These are coefficient of x and y. This is for z. So, we get minus 3z equal to 0 which gives you z equal to 0. Similarly, from the second row, if we take y plus 4z equal to 0 and substitute the value of z, you will get y equal to 0. Now take the first row that is x plus y plus 3z equal to 0 which gives x equal to 0 by substituting z and y equal to 0. So finally we are getting only 0 solution which is called a trivial solution. For homogeneous you have unique solution as only trivial solution. It will not have non-zero unique solution. Now, the second case is infinite solution for homogeneous equation. This is again homogeneous equation. You can see zeros, which this is a given, which we need to convert into matrix equation form. So, this is A, matrix of coefficients. This is column matrix of unknown. This is column matrix of constant. You can see 2, 1, 4, 1, 1, 3, 2, 3, 8. Now we have to adjoin this to this and find the rank of AO. This is the matrix we obtain when we adjoin the last O matrix to A. Now let us see what is the rank of AO or rank of A. Here using elementary transformation we can get this in echelon form. What we need first is 1 here. So, we can interchange second and first row. And we need two zeros here. So, automatically this like earlier case, this is to be performed from second row to 2R1, from third row 4R1 to be subtracted. So, you get this one. 
and now again this has to be a element one positive one so you can multiply this by minus one and this to be converted to zero so you can add these two so you can see it is automatically becoming zero so what is the rank of this it is two so rank of this matrix is two in this case both r a as well as r of a zero rank is two if it is different we can say it is inconsistent but it will not happen because it is a homogeneous system of equation now when this is the case we will have infinite solution i'll tell you how it is obtained if you take augmented matrix in a clone form we'll rewrite this x as an equation again so you get y plus 4z equal to 0 this is 0 coefficient of x so we have only y and z where we need to substitute an arbitrary constant for one of these values it can be for y it can be for z so let me substitute it for k it for z i'm sorry let's see when we take z equal to k we can get y in terms of that arbitrary constant which is minus 4k k can be anything k can be 1 2 3 any value we can assume now when we put z and y in the first row this is the first row when we write as an equation we can obtain the value of x which is again k that's just a coincidence you're getting the same value it may be anything in terms of k so finally we have solution coming x is equal to k y equal to minus 4k and z equal to k where k can be any arbitrary constant this is this will give you infinite solution when you take different values of k now for non-homogeneous equation that is ax equal to b this is what we have seen ax equal to b where b is non-zero there are three different cases in this case the system will be sometimes inconsistent depending upon the case if r is more than n the system will not have a solution if equal to n it will have a unique solution and less than n it will have infinite solution that is what i have written once again are more than an inconsistent are equal to an consistent and unique solution less than an infinite solution this you have to remember these are all very important now let me take an example this is an example when we convert this into matrix equation as earlier we can write it this way see 2 6 x value is not there so you get 0 then 6 20 6 then 0 z value is not there so 0 minus 6 and minus 18 x is this by b is minus 11 13 and minus 1 now when we adjoin b to a you get this matrix here let us convert this into zeros first right so this can be 0 by subtracting 3 times row 1 from R2. So, this is obtained to avoid a fraction here. I have not divided this by 2. We will do it later. Now, this gives you rank of A and rank of AB. See here how many non-zero rows are there? 3. And here how many non-zero rows? 2. So, this and this are not the same. So, the system is inconsistent here. Why system is inconsistent? You see, if you take this augmented matrix and write this as an equation, the last row gives you this equation. 0x plus 0y plus 0z, which we are getting as 91, which is in fact a nonsense. So, that is because this system is inconsistent. I hope you understood this. Okay, thank you.